Welcome to Pennington Place. It's a beautiful day. It's a blustery 89 degrees. Feels like 94. Very humid, very hot, but I have zucchinis from my garden and we're not going to let them go to waste. So what we're going to do today is make some zucchini bread. I use the basic recipe for quick bread out of um, my Betty Crocker cookbook. This is the cookbook that I grew up with, my grandmother used, not this one, but she used this edition. Um, my grandmother, then my mother had it, and then I had it for a while, but it's back at my mother's. But I found one, they did a remake, limited edition of the 1930s. So, this is my favorite cookbook. The one that I use for everything. Some of the recipes I change around a little bit to suit what I need, um, but for the most part, it's wonderful cookbook. So I'm going to go ahead. These are the zucchinis I picked this morning. Um, as you can see, like it right there. And right there. I have a two-year-old in the house. I have a two-year-old in the house. See? There she is. She, um, she likes to taste all my zucchinis when they're on the counter. So she has tasted some of these already. I just grew a variety of zucchinis. So um, I've never had the dark green with the light green stripes or the dark yellow with the light yellow stripes. Um, I don't know what all the names are. It's just a variety pack. And we like zucchini, so I picked them all young and we're gonna get them shredded up. Got the zucchini all shredded. Um, it takes one cup of zucchini per loaf of zucchini bread. I do a double batch. So what we're going to do, uh, look at these bowls. My mother made me these bowls in 1992. It's a whole set when she did pottery and stuff. Um, very heavy bowls. I can't even lift it up with one, barely lift it up with one hand. Um, this was before she got her Alzheimer's. Uh, so this set means a lot to me. So the zucchini, you can see there's the yellow zucchini. There's the dark green. There's light green in there very pretty in color and it's going to make our bread very pretty too so we're going to start i do a double batch i never do more than a double batch with this recipe from my book we're going to start with three cups of flour and i use in the book it doesn't say self-rising flour you have to add the salt and the baking powder and everything i don't do that i just use the self-rising that's the one adjustment I've made because since I married Michael, that's all he ever used, and that's what I'm used to. Two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and I gotta tell you guys, I don't measure. So, um, I'm giving you measurements, but that's probably, I probably do a little bit more, I like a little more flavor. Um, and then a fourth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So I'm doubling the recipe, remember. And then we'll do two cups of sugar. I don't add as much sugar. I always go under a cup because I always do my own thing. That's just the way I am. Okay, now that's our dry ingredients. So once we get our dry ingredients together, then we're gonna get our moist ingredients together. So here's two cups of the zucchini. Because remember, I'm doubling my batch, so it's one cup per, per loaf. I'm making two loaves. So there's two cups of zucchini. I'm going to do a half a cup of vegetable oil. And then I'm going to do two eggs. Farm fresh eggs, I might add. Beautifully yellow from my very own chickens. Um, the recipe does call for shredded lemon peel. I don't use that and I don't use nuts. Um, but what I do use is chocolate chips. So once I get everything mixed and together as a batter, I will fold in my chocolate chips. So I've mixed the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, but I find with this recipe that it's too dry. And it doesn't call for it, but I add a little bit of milk just to get it chunky. You want a nice thick batter but you want it all moist.
And as far as the measurement for the milk, I don't know. I just add a little bit, stir it in, see if it works. If not, add a little bit more, stir it in, see if it works. I imagine we use about half a cup. Because you want a thick batter like this. It's supposed to be nice and thick. Okay, from here I'm going to go ahead and fold in my chocolate chips. So I've got my chocolate chips folded in. Um, next I'll just go ahead and put them in the bread pans and put them in the oven to cook. But before I put them in the oven, what I like to do, and this is completely me, I change every recipe. I do things my way. I find out what works for me, you know, so any standard recipe I'm going to change. It's just the way it is. So uh, I got this done. I'm going to put them in my bread pan and uh, then see this butter this is Amish roll butter that's the only butter I use that and real butter salted butter I don't do the unsalted um, I'm gonna melt probably half a cup half a cup of butter on the stove with a little bit of brown sugar and then uh, I'll just get it melted and soft I won't get it runny and, and, uh, and hot and then I'll add up some uh, rolled oats to it and then I'll sprinkle that on top of my loaves and then I'll cook them the chips that I use are semi-sweet. Um, I've used milk chocolate before, but with the sugar in the recipe and then with the coating that I use, it's just too sweet. And I don't think zucchini breads, I don't think bread should be really sweet. Um, so I kind of tone it down. So I use semi-sweet. I use more oats and butter um, in my mixture than brown sugar here. This is just um, quick oats because uh, you want them to, to not be too crunchy. Um, I don't know, maybe a cup of quick oats, maybe a fourth a cup of butter that's nice and soft, close to being melted, a tiny sprinkle of cinnamon, a tiny sprinkle of nutmeg, and then maybe a fourth a cup of brown sugar. So that's what I'm going to sprinkle on top here. Sometimes I put this mixture on the bottom. Um, when you put it on the bottom, um, you use less brown sugar and a little bit more butter. And what you're going to get is a nice, you know, sometimes quick breads will give you a crust all the way around where it cooks. If you use more butter, less brown sugar, and put it on the bottom, and then put your batter in, what you're going to get is a nice soft bottom to it so that you don't have that heavy crust. I'll put these in the oven. I'll cook them for about 45, 45 to 60 minutes at 350. Uh, when I get them pulled out, I'll see you then. So as you can see, I have lots of zucchini that I've shredded. Um, I only had, what, five zucchini? I think it was five or six, and they were small because I pick them small, but it makes a lot. So, um, I've got more bread to make. I've got more batter to get ready and more bread pans to get out and it's just going to be a process. Um, what I don't use if I have an odd amount left, I'll make sure that it goes by the cupfuls in a Ziploc freezer bag and I'll date it and put it in the freezer. Then in the winter time if I get in the mood for zucchini bread and we've taken our last loaf out of the freezer and we've already eaten it, I can just pull the zucchini out and make some fresh. So. We'll see you as soon as our bread's done. Okay, it's a few hours later. It's all done. I had six batches all together. Uh, three batches, sorry. Three double batches, which is six loaves. Um, what I did was, I don't like the metal bread pans. So, um, these two, this one here, and this one came from the metal bread pan. Um, the bottom stuck. I mean, they're still fine they're still fine it's just the bottom stuck and and it was harder to get out these were my glass they came out easy peasy lemon squeezy as my granddaughter would say um, and since I didn't have extra glass bread pans I went ahead and used a bunt pan which some of it stuck but I still got two loaves cooked into one 
this is a loaf that I made the other day that we're eating on <laughs> tonight. I haven't frozen it. So these will be wrapped up. I'll um, wrap them up in plastic and then I'll wrap them up in uh, foil. And then I'll use my sealer and I'll put them in another bag and seal them. And we'll label them and put them in the freezer so that we can have them. Um, I'm going to be making a trip to Indiana tomorrow, so I needed to get this done today. I'm going to go visit some very special people. So um, I'll probably end up taking a, a loaf with me to share because, you know, good food is, is better when you can share it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to uh, do more with your garden and play more with your recipes. Make them the way you want them. Make them the way you like them. Because, you know, reading a book, going, going step by step, isn't always the best thing. Anyway, enjoy. Have a beautiful night. I'm going to call it quits. I'm going to get this stuff taken care of. And then we did all the feeding, all the watering. I'm actually going to relax for a while. We'll talk to you later. God bless.